welcome guys this is our new youtube channel uh, cpr and pure point where i upload the daily trading regarding video from today onwards how i trade by using the cpr and pure point i will upload the daily end of the day video based on the strategy of cpr and pure point how i take a trade in nifty or bank nifty so this is the first video of the channel where i discuss uh, the basic knowledge of the cpr and pure point I will not uh, going to discuss how to put the CPR into the uh, trading view uh, software the, because there is a thousands of more than thousand video on the YouTube uh, that you can watch this video. I am directly come to the point that how I take a trade based on this strategy, how I manage my stop loss, how uh, what is my entry, where is my stop loss. Uh, so let's start. Before moving on to the next point, I just want to share my uh, little intro. Like uh, I am a part time trader. I am not a full time trader. I am doing a paper trading from past 6 months, uh, I traded only in a bank nifty and NFT and I use only the CPR and a pure point, nothing else and I am the option buyers only, not an option seller because right now I don't have enough capital to uh, do option selling. So let's move on to the point, so you guys aware of what is the CPR and pure on chart, again there is a lot of video on YouTube on CPR but nobody is talking about how they trade by using the CPR strategy anyway uh, CPR is acts like a strong resistance and support in a chart above CPR you see there is a two resistance R1 and R2 and below the CPR two support which is S1 and S2 and the center three lines uh, are center pure range uh, which has top CPR bottom CPR and center CPR Next point is when the CPR is very wide, most of the time the market is in the sideways range. Uh, I said most of the time, not all the time. And when the CPR is very narrow, the market is in the trend. Most of the time, either it's upside or downside. As you see in the picture, uh, when there is a, a narrow CPR, the market is in the uh, trend day. And the, when there is a wide CPR, the market is in the sideways day. So this was the basic knowledge regarding to the CPR and POS, uh, which I wanted to share with you. Moving on to the next point, what is the supply and demand zone on the chart, uh, why these levels are so important and why we have to mark these levels. So the supply zone is nothing but the point from where the market crashes suddenly. So it acts like a supply zone for the next day. So next day when the market goes at this level, it faces the strong resistance over there as you've seen in the images. And the demand zone, the point from where the, there is a sudden rise in the market is known as the demand zone. So next time when the market goes at the level, so it acts like a strong support over there as you've seen in the images. So the next point is a virgin CPR. You know what virgin means, right? So anyway, the CPR itself acts like a strong support and resistance for the current day. But if market didn't go at the CPR level, means didn't touch the CPR, so this CPR acts like a strong support and resistance for the next day also. So this untouched CPR of a current day is known as the virgin CPR for the next day. So this virgin CPR, it acts like a strong support and a resistance for the next day also. So this is important to the mark this virgin CPR also on the chart, if you found any virgin CPR there. So as you see in the above diagram, uh, there is an untouched CPR on 11th of November. So it acts like a virgin CPR for the next day, which is 12th of November. When the market goes at to this level, so it faces the resistance and there is a sudden fall on the market when it touched to the virgin CPR. So this CPR, virgin CPR is a very important point. So we have to mark this virgin CPR also on a chart. So the last point is uh, PDH and P PDL. Uh, so the PDH is previous day high and PDL is a previous day low. So this is the important support and resistance which work for the next day also. So it's important to mark these two levels and you can see here how the previous day high is become the support for the next day. So it's important to mark the previous day high and previous day low. So it acts like a support and resistance for the current day. Here you can see how important CPR and POS points are. Uh, here market faces the resistance over the CPR and it's also taking the support uh, near the daily S1 POS. Uh, two time it take a support at a daily POS and faces the resistance over the CPR. And the point when the market has crosses the S1 support, the S1 support is acts like a resistance now and it faces the support at the S2 POS and again crashes from the S2 POS and S2 POS it acts like a resistance now. As you see here how powerful the CPR is when the market crashes is taking the support at the CPR and there is a sudden bounce into the market. 
so these are the basic things which i want to share with you before the trading uh, with the help of cpr and pure points these are the points like previous day high low virgin cpr supply and demand zones and the narrow or wide cpr this level we have to identify in the market so we can actually apply our best strategy of cpr and pure points to become a profitable trader and let's switch into the hindi now इंग्लिश बोल के मेरा मुँह दुख रहा है और मुझे बस इतना ही बताना है कि आ, मैंने किसी को कॉपी नहीं किया जो मैं जिससे इंस्पायर है जो सी पी और प्योर पॉइंट से रिलेटेड बहुत ही कम यूट्यूबर है लेकिन आ, जो भी एक आध वीडियो बनाते हैं वो सिर्फ बताते हैं उस वीडियो में कि अगर ये एस वन पी क्रॉस किया तो यहाँ पर शॉर्ट ट्रेड लो फिर एस टू जाके तो सेल कर दो तो ऐसा नहीं होता इसमें बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स होते हैं जो कि हम डिस्कस करेंगे बाद में आने वाले वीडियोज़ में सो so बेसिकली इस चैनल पे मैं रोज़ एक वीडियो अपलोड करूँगा एंड ऑफ द डे कि मैंने सी पी आर और प्योर्स पॉइंट यूज़ करके आ, कौन से ट्रेड किए अब निफ्टी और बैंक निफ्टी में जो भी है सो so, जो वीडियोस आएंगी उसमें जो मैं ट्रेड करूँगा वो मैं रियल मनी से नहीं करूँगा क्योंकि अभी पोर्टफोलियो पे काम चालू है पोर्टफोलियो थोड़ा तैयार हो रहा है ऐसे समझो तो मैं पेपर ट्रेडिंग करूँगा न्यू स्टॉक पर उसकी लिंक मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूँगा आप वहाँ पर जाके आप भी पेपर ट्रेडिंग कर सकते हो और पेपर ट्रेडिंग मस्ट जब तक आप परफेक्ट नहीं होते तो मैं लास्ट सिक्स मंथ से कर ही रहा हूँ अभी तक तो पोर्टफोलियो जमा नहीं हुआ तो अब और करूँगा एक थोड़े दिन करूँगा बाद में हम रियल मनी से भी करेंगे और उसमें भी बहुत पॉइंट है फिर स्टॉप लॉस कहाँ पे लगाना है एंट्री कैसे लेना है कैसे स्टॉप लॉस मैनेज करना है कब एंट्री लेनी है कब नहीं लेनी तो इसमें बहुत सारे पॉइंट हैं वो सभी हम डिस्कस करेंगे एक के बाद एक अभी ये इस वीडियो में मैंने बस बेसिक बताया मैंने ज़्यादा कुछ डिटेल भी नहीं दी जैसे बाकी यूट्यूबर्स देते हैं तो ये इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है आप बाकी यूट्यूबर्स के चैनल पर भी देख सकते हो मुझे ताकि आप डायरेक्टली पॉइंट पे आए और मैं कैसे ट्रेड करता हूँ सी और पी यूज़ करके और जैसे जैसे हम आगे बढ़ेंगे तो वैसे वैसे हमारे एक एक पॉइंट क्लियर होते जाएंगे कि ये कैसे ट्रेड ये एंट्री कैसे लेने स्टॉप लॉस कैसे जो कि बहुत डिटेल में होगा रोज़ एक वीडियो एंड ऑफ द डे वीडियो आएगा पर्टिकुलर डे का और इस वीडियो में अगर कोई इंग्लिश में ग्रामेटिकल एरर हो गया तो उसे इग्नोर करो इस चैनल पे वीडियो कौन से भी भाषा में आ सकते हिंदी इंग्लिश यानी कभी कभी मराठी में दे सो अब मिलते हैं हम नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक पीस आउट